Flirtation inside the world of America's favorite guilty pleasure. Oh, you know, I'm not for book burning, but... <laughs> <laughs> Man. In an excerpt published by the New York Post, Bachelor staffer Ben Hatta explained, quote, as soon as the medical tests come back, you see that herpes is the biggest thing. And sometimes you're the first person to tell a contestant that they have herpes. The book also <laughs> no, delves into really? the psychological evaluations each applicant goes through with producer Michael Carroll revealing, quote, you can see it at the casting events during the interviews. Oh, this chick is going to go effing nuts. She's m amazing. So they want the lunatics. Of course they do. They want a variety of yeah. people, including the ones that are going to go crazy. Um, <laughs> interesting. Man. So they screen them for all venereal diseases? Well, of course, that would make sense. Well, because they're all because the whole point of the show is they all jump in bed with each other. And, <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And, you then, know. And, and the show's been on, what, like 50 episodes and one couple's gotten married? A lot right? of seasons. I don't know how many seasons, but more than I, more than 20, I think, right? So yeah. no no VD. It's the deal. Can you get that? Can't Hello, have VD. Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh, hey, hey Donnie. Donnie. I think The Bachelor sucks is a reality show, and I'd say it right to its face. And why is that? <laughs> Chick, you need to start a new reality show. All right. Uh, NFL competition committee with Don Shula, Larry Flint, and Jody Foster. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> all right. They go around yes. the horn making all these different rules changes. I'd love to hear a tape of that because The Bachelor, this, I swear, they're all having these STDs. From the signs of it, they need to stop handing out roses and start handing out the Valtrex, Icy Hot, and WD-40 or something. Uh -huh. I swear to God. And, and how much would it suck if all you wanted was a stupid rose, but instead you got to clap a patch of herpes or gangrene again? Oh, it don't matter if it's complex A all the way through Z. The fact remains they all suck. But, no, Donnie, apparently they, they're, I guess yeah. they're pre-screening the Bachelor contestants for STDs right. so they don't pass them around. So you something. won't get them. While you're on the show. Well, Christy, I remember growing up as a child, my Aunt Putty would always have one of them uh, big canker sores buried in the corner of her lip, Ugh. and it never went away. It looked like a big bruise on Jupiter. I <laughs> swear to God. But hers would shrink <laughs> and grow depending on the dew point and barometric pressure, sort of like a mood ring. <laughs> anyway, she was one of them aunts that always insisted on hugs and kisses from all of us kids, you know, oh. make us get out the kiddie pool. And, and oh, meanwhile, <laughs> that thing would just stare right in your face. It was like one of them paintings from Scooby-Doo with the creepy eyes that follow you around the room. Yes. Oh. oh, yeah. And all those kids would pray that a low front would pass through so that thing would shrink down because you, you, that way you wouldn't feel the crust of it against your face. Oh, and kiss you. oh man. Well, she insisted on smacking lips, too. She was out style that way. And if the sore didn't get you, her half-lip menthol did. So, <laughs> I swear to God, I still got two pock marks from it. So we learned over time you'd want to get the hugs and kiss as soon as she got to the cookout. Otherwise, if you waited till the end of the party, that mold would be all festated and leaky from it interacting with secondhand smoke and stolies. Oh, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. It started oozing out like a pus oh, volcano right. just erupt in the corner of my life. Thanks, Donnie. We got, we got it. <laughs> she, she, it was apparently a shanker. <laughs>